Hi, and welcome back to the latest edition of Driving Diversity. My name is Elaine Spector. So this week, as we celebrate the immensity of the work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I want to tie his work to the patent field through the work of Dr. Lisa Cook. And if you don't know who Dr. Cook is, I would Google her right now. You can type in Dr. Lisa Cook and patent racism. Okay, you got it? In her paper entitled Violence and Economic Activity, Evidence from African American Patents, 1870 to 1940, she tracks patents granted to black inventors from just after the emancipation to 1940. And what she found was pretty astounding. Dr. Lisa Cook found that, quote, before the early 1900s, patenting rates among African Americans followed a pattern increasingly similar to that of the larger inventor population, albeit at a much lower level. Like overall patent rates, African American patent rates were pro-cyclical, increasing with economic booms. Black patent activity became counter-cyclical at the turn of the century, end quote. And why did black patent activity become counter-cyclical? Well, Dr. Cook points to the decision of Plessy v. Ferguson, upholding separate but equal in 1896, the ensuing Jim Crow laws, and the mass violence faced by black Americans, including lynchings and the Tulsa massacre, the attack on Black Wall Street. So not only did white America keep resources from black Americans to establish businesses, such as access to money, network, networks, mentoring, education, when black America actually started to prosper despite these lack of resources, they inflicted unthinkable violence. It's really hard to imagine why white America at that time did not want to see black Americans prosper. Even today, I ask myself that same question. Our whole nation prospers when all of our citizens prosper. Every one of us needs to ask ourselves, what can we do to address the disparities in our own fields caused by systemic racism and violence over the years? One suggestion that Dr. Lisa Cook has is to improve the STEM pipeline and the current academic environment for black students. At Heritage, we have numerous programs to help diverse engineers to enter the patent practice, as well as free education resources to help them succeed in their patent practices once they get here. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what else we all should be doing collectively as a community to address these disparities. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.